I want to share with you a story so I can drive home just what that point means to every guy in this room. University of Illinois needed to win the game on Saturday to go to the Rose Bowl for the first time in 20 years. John Long went into the hotel where they were staying to the coach's room. College football teams are allowed to take 60 guys into a hotel the night before the game, whether they're home or whether they're on the road. You'll have 30 rooms with two guys to a room, and the coaches will have their own room. With that in mind, John Long, on Friday before the Saturday game, went and knocked on the coach's door. Coach came to the door, and John just blurted out, he said, Coach, you just got to start me in tomorrow's game. And the coach kind of stood back and he said, John, you're a senior, done everything I've ever asked you to do. You're a terrific kid, but you've been second team ever since you've been here. Furthermore, you play behind the captain of the team at your linebacker position. Tomorrow, the stakes are high. If we win, we're going to the Rose Bowl. In all fairness, how can you ask me? to start you in this game. Big tears started down John Long's face. He looked right into his coach's eyes, and he said, Coach, I know that's true, but you just got to start me. Well, under that kind of pressure, the coach was looking for a solution. He said, let me sleep on it. I'll have an answer for you in the morning. Bright and early the next morning, John Long's banging on the coach's door. The coach comes to the door, and he says, I'll tell you what, John. I found a solution of sorts. I will put you in on the opening kickoff, and in that way, you'll be starting the game. That's the only thing that I can guarantee you. Well, as fate would have it, Illinois kicked off that day, and John Long ran down the field faster than anybody had ever seen him run. And I mean, he made a resounding tackle on the 18-yard line, jumped up with his fist clenched. The captain started on the field. The coach grabbed him by the arm and said, Let's give him one more play. That was a heck of a hit. <laughs> so, on the first play from scrimmage, the opposition ran a trick play, one we've all seen, where the quarterback hands the ball off to the halfback and he starts to the wide side of the field and then he plants and he throws a pass to the quarterback slipping out the back side. So help me, somehow from his linebacker position, John Long diagnoses the play. He steps in front at the right time, he picks it off, he runs easily into the end zone, they miss the extra point, he's just scored a touchdown, they're ahead 6-0. Now, you can't put the captain in the game now, the guy's just scored on the... <laughs> Do you know... Do you know what happened that day? John Long was all over the field. John Long made plays nobody had ever seen him make in four years at the University of Illinois. They substituted the captain at the other linebacker position. Somehow, in the wanting seconds of the game, the 6-0 lead held up. And the opposition tried a desperation pass down the far sideline. Long retreats from his linebacker position, jumps into the air. He deflects the ball. It falls harmlessly to the ground. They just spill out onto the field in celebration. Champagne or Banna, Illinois just erupts. The coach is carried off to the field. This goes on for a long time. Finally, the coach finds himself in the locker room. Tremendous victory, and he looks and over all by himself is John Long just crying like a baby. I mean weeping uncontrollably now. And the coach goes over to him and he says, John, nobody's ever seen you play like that. You're the most dominant guy on the field. Why are you crying? This should be a great moment. Why are you crying? And John gathered himself and he said, Coach, you know my father's blind. He said, well, of course I do, John. Many times your fraternity brothers wheeled him on to the practice field so he could listen to his practice. 
And he said, well, Coach, my dad died Thursday night, and I figured this is the first time he had a chance to see me play.